It is T-minus 17 days and counting to the Trump inauguration. Anna Warner tonight says there is some controversy about the parade that will follow along Pennsylvania Avenue. Performing in an inaugural parade is considered an honor, something to cheer. These days, it's also considered something to protest. The Mormon Tabernacle Choir often participates. It has sung in five inaugurations over the last half century. But this time, member Jan Chamberlain resigned from the choir rather than sing for President-elect Donald Trump. I have to take a stance against something that I see as um, coming across to others throughout the world as supporting someone with horrible practices and, and, and beliefs. And I can't support that. Groups from New York's Marist College will perform for the first time, but several students are refusing to appear. And the college is under pressure from alumna like Kelly Hetrick to back out. It's also sending the message that we're okay with the things that the president-elect says. Alabama's oldest private historically black liberal arts college also plans to march, but is taking some heat for doing it. There are petitions online both for and against the Talladega College marching band's appearance. We are open arms to everybody. We but Boris everybody. Epstein with the Trump inaugural committee says who's in and who's not doesn't matter. I will tell you this will be an inaugural unlike any other and it will truly, truly, truly show off the best of America. Important people who have now confirmed they will attend, Presidents Jimmy Carter, George W. Bush and wife Laura, and Hillary and President Bill Clinton. Jeff? Anna Warner, thank you very much.